Hey, buddy, it's Victor. It's time to know that you can run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Tuesdays have gone off to a great start. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, which now puts us only 12 away, less than two weeks from the Glitch Chaos run, which I am looking forward to. And thank you all very much for supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. Hope your Tuesday's been good, man. It's Tuesdays. Tuesday's like that kind of weird day that's like, eh, like, thank goodness we're not, we're not on Monday anymore, but eh, we're not even to Wednesday yet, you know? So, I don't know. Let's see how good today's run is. But first, here's your meme of the day sent in by Painter D&D W40K. Title of the thread was episode 870 meme, Deathless Sentence. Guest appearance from Felon Fortune Cookie. What are you in for? I only paid out with stat ups two out of 14 times, and they're both luck. Dude! <laughs> Uh, shout out to Painter, man. Painter does some of the best memes of the day on this Invictus subreddit. This one got me real good. Because, like, honestly, the first time I saw it, I didn't even realize that Fortune Cookie had been, like, was, like, the head of the prisoner. I only saw the desk list, and that one got me. Uh, C oh, boy. Seed Day is going to be Romeo uh, Tango Hotel 7 Yankee X-Ray Alpha Whiskey. So we had Eden's Blessing yesterday, obviously, and, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, starting off with Tech 2 is not terrible. Um, you know, there's, there's there's nothing there's nothing inherently wrong with Tech 2 anymore. It's just it's kind of a bummer because it's like, you know, you see the tiers right and you're like, mm, I don't know. But we do also have Host Hat, which is good. And, of course, we also, also have the Nail, uh, which is going to give us the ability to at least have a little bit. That's that. See, see the trick is there, game, is that you forgot that we have Host Hat. Um... Yeah, so that's going to give us a little bit of uh, extra damage and also give us the ability to spawn swords for ourselves. Um, although it does indeed destroy our movement speed whenever we use the nail. It is reusable and it is a very, it is a very decent, I, I, would, I dare say very adequate soul heart, gen soul heart generator. Um, I believe for dummies. And then we also have the satanic Bible. Now that is obviously a oh, <laughs> like a way better soul heart generator, but we got to go through that whole discussion again. Well, we're not going to go through the whole discussion again, but we, it's just the whole principle of like you know replacing your boss items with devil deal items. Sounds good on paper, but usually generally isn't. Um, but there are times. I mean, like the the thing with Isaac is that there's there's never one example that just like paints the picture for everything, except that you know pills are just never worth taking. Um, the fact that you know. You can get some basic stat upgrades that are good. The pro from from just W items like you have the pack, you have like the mark, um, a bad, and you know things like things that you would expect to have out of any usual boss drops. It can happen, and you and it's again it's few and far between. That's the biggest problem when it comes to the Satanic Bible taking the place of all your boss items. So it's not necessarily a one size fits all situation where like you know oh well you. You can make it up by getting all the soul hearts that, that you need to generate with Satanic Bible, but you just got to deal with... Uh, ooh, man. Ooh, man. Tech... The thing is with Tech 2 and Mom's Knife... Or am I mistaken? Am I mistaken that? Am I done? Have I done been mistaken that? I thought the Tech 2 gave... Am I thinking about... Am I thinking about Jello? I thought Tech 2 gave us the ability to have the beam uh, and join with Mom's Knife. Huh. I must have, I must be, I must be misremembering something because I could have swore that was the case. That's the only reason why I took it. Um, anyway, we're going to get growth hormones here and also have ourselves a nice little damage upgrade. Obviously, damage scales insanely well with Mom's Knife. Uh, I am going to go back and use the Satanic Bible. I still don't think it's really worth it for us to actually take the Satanic Bible. Um, just because the boss room drops are so important. But we are going to at least go back and... Uh, was there a full charge in at the store? What the heck is that? What What is that, that synergy? There is. What is that synergy that allows us to take... Or allows us to have Mom's Life, but it also, it also makes the... Oh, you know what? It's Tech X. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's Tech X that does that. Where there's a beam around and like inside of Mom's knife. I'm pretty sure that's Tech X. Could be wrong. But I think that's what the case is. 
Unfortunately, we don't have any bombs here. We do at least get a read on where all the secret rooms and super secret rooms are. But yeah, overall, this is a very good first floor and a, not a bad start. I mean, having host tap for the explosion immunity is very nice. Um, it, it already saved us once in this room here. Uh, and, you know, obviously getting some movement speed, getting some good old damage upgrade. We're looking pretty good. Pretty good. Of course, going to last week's question of the episode is from the Bend It Like Robo Baby uh, episode, which I I did give I did give Alex a uh, a synopsis on what I wanted for for that one for that thumbnail, but unfortunately uh, he couldn't do the thumbnail. So th that does occasionally happen where something comes up and he just is, is unable to do them all. Um, so I had to do that thumbnail. That's just the story of the, of the Robo Baby thumbnail. But uh, I asked who was your MVP of this run. I'm looking forward to seeing this one. We are going to get. Uh, bookworm here as well thanks to the book of revelations um uh, and uh, the most upvoted comment came in from that guy pal 420 who said the kitten in the meme of the day thank you thank you pal that pal guy um yeah i mean it was a cute kitten for sure so i guess the kitten wins the overall mvp vote yep uh second most upvoted comment came in uh, from Ronan the Shogun, who said, Yus Invicta, you are the MVP of the run. Thank you very much, Ronan. Uh, and uh, last but not least, the third most upvoted comment came in from uh, CZH, who said, Anima Solar for me, the item continues to amaze me every time I see it. I get I get that get that with Warm Buddy and have a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Anima Sola, we all, I, I have shown many times over the course of uh, Repentance's lifespan now, which is actually approaching, we're, we're getting close to like three years now, which is nuts. Uh, maybe, I mean, we still have like six months to go, but still. Um, you know, Anima Sola just continues to shock like everyone, just how good it is. Um, I don't think this is, this is gonna hit both. There we go. Get ourselves an extra Yave here while we still continue to look for the item room. Anima Sola is just such a such a fantastic and fun way to play the game. No, we dare we dare say the F word here. The only F word that we can't say here is fun. Oh, I said it again. I'd be careful. We don't we don't want to ruin our fun now. Oh, I said it again. Um, we could take one bomb here and maybe get a nickel, but I think I'm gonna pass on that. Let's go ahead and use. These bombs here for the Seeker Room and Super Seeker Room, which gave us a whole lot of that. Piece of clubs. Uh, yeah, give me some bombs. Piece of clubs. There we go. Now we have enough bombs to go check the Keeper to see if maybe we can get a nickel out of there. Did. Now, obviously, I could have gone back and used the Book of Revelations instead of using the nail there for that full charge. But, again... Again, again, we're talking about the idea of not wanting to replace our seek our boss room <clears throat> boss room item uh, with a uh, with you know like in this in this case an orbital. Uh, we don't want that at all. What we want is we want stat upgrades, and we want a lot of them. Drop a bomb here on the tenant rock, get ourselves a golden chest, which gave us a whole lot of nothing. <clears throat> so we're out of keys now. Sorry about that. Had to clear my throat. I'm going to use the nail here to... Oh my gosh. Pink Haunt got absolutely wrecked. Woo, that was a true one shot there, Pink Haunt. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, we don't really need either one of those. Brimstone bombs, uh, man, I don't know. Talk about it in a moment. Brimstone bombs are just so. I think the best word to describe them is underwhelming to me. You would think that, like, having bombs that just shot out a Loki's Horn esque type brimstone shot, I mean, that sounds like our dream come true. You know, if we had if we had been told like, hey, there's going to be a bomb in the next expansion that not only not only does it shoot out brimstone when it explodes, but it shoots out 
multiple brimstones when it explodes. I'd be like, good lord, man. Sign me up for that all day. It's just that the damage that the brimstone bombs cause is just not enough for me. We're going to be giving up a lot of HP here, but that's okay for me because obviously we've got Mom's Knife and we get Pogatory. <clears throat> no Angel Deal item this time around. You know, and I'm not willing to go down to one heart yet. Uh, I mean, we are we are very strong, but yeah, this is the reason why we're right here. Right here. This is why we don't want to go two hands. We can't, we cannot, we truthfully cannot uh, bet our, our life on getting the chance of getting like, you know, seven soul hearts. It's 50-50. You're, you're either going to get that or you're going to get the coins. And right now, we do not have... We do not have the ability to safely do it. Now we do, though, with this extra soul heart, because this puts us down to one and a half hearts. Um, and uh, Or this will put us down to essentially two hits from death. That's, that's fine. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so we end up getting a nice little payout there, end up breaking even on everything as far as our HP is concerned, and we keep on going in the wrong direction. Purgatory, of course, is going to give us an exploding uh, ghost thing. It's a ghost. Uh, that will basically seek out and uh, uh, explode on... Wow, there's no keys in there. On enemies that it, it basically is heat-seeking. It's like a heat-seeking missile in a way. And what it does is uh, it will essentially... It will essentially deal a decent amount of damage, but obviously the biggest, the biggest thing is sort of the unknown, unseen uh, advantage of having Purgatory is the fact that it does indeed give you a little little bit of shot denial on the enemies. So, like, if they spawn, like, some shots or anything like that, Purgatory will actually... We end up getting a horseman anyway, of course we do. Uh, Purgatory will actually will actually destroy any of the projectiles that they were trying to shoot. So, uh, we get that. We can go... We might as well go into our super secret room while we're here. I am going to hold on to the left hand, even though we kind of need keys right now. There we go. As you just saw right there, the left hand will not take the place. It would not replace the uh, the uh, mega chests, which are fine anyway because mega chests are total scams. Um, we don't need Gemini. If we needed a little bit of extra damage, I definitely would take it. But with Mom's Knife and Tech 2 here, I think we're going to be all right without him. Oh, we get a planetarium here. And Mercurius, I'm down. Definitely down to Mercurius Town. Um, the double battery there, which is going to just kind of finish off our uh, our HP. I think we're full HP. Okay, so this is the Inner Child, which basically just gives you an extra life, which is again fine. Uh, it's always good to have insurance, but usually doesn't normally come across as something that we you know need need hopefully we hopefully we'll never need it but you, know, you never know it's interesting how extra lives no it's entry how interesting how extra lives play out in isaac compared to like other games where it's like if you get to the point of like if you get to the point of not needing lives it's sort of they sort of kind of become like currency in a way like for the devil deal now you look at it like, oh, well, we can make some sick, like, sacrifice room plays here. I don't know why I'm clearing these rooms. I don't need to. There's a sack room, but unfortunately, um, it's it's Curse the Unknown. There's no way that I'm going to I'm going to tempt fate like that because I don't remember how much HP we have. I do want to go into the shop, though, to see if we can get Black Candida. These, these constitute as... These, these, these are basically rooms that I will not be uh, partaking in. But we could go into the super secret room, I guess. The curious, of course, is going to allow us to essentially just skip through rooms that we don't want to go through. 
Uh, but it also gives us a nice movement speed upgrade, which is nice. Uh, yeah, we'll take treasure map. And we'll take the... Full charge here so we can get those bombs. Now we can go into the curse room. Via the secret room. We can also get inner child again it, there's no real reason for us not to take inner child it's it's just it's good to have an extra extra set of uh extra set of like insurance policies here uh mom's kiss is a trinket that will give us a red heart container as long as we pick it up and hold on to it so if we really truly needed more red heart currency we can use it um red heart containers you know for devil deals uh, or we can use it on the sack room but again with us with us having curse the unknown i'm not necessarily okay with the idea of doing it oh, that little little cheeky damage there with uh cuban meat combined with the contact damage of mom's knife and we don't get doubled anyway so There we go. Uh, let's see. It, it's a mob trap room. We can go at least check over here. These skulls stay the heck away from me. <sighs> not not for one singular red chest. I don't I don't think it's worth it there. You see, Mercurius is a great a great way to sort of like just navigate through the entire level without you having to really truly look uh, for. Uh, you can you can get a lay of the land very easily. Especially whenever, like, you know, you just keep getting hit by stuff. That is something that that does kind of happen, especially with me whenever I get me curious, is that I'm going to just black heart bomb this. Wow. Okay, they're still alive. You got to really be careful when you're, when you're kind of, like, just walking through everything. No. Oh. Um, I mean, we're guaranteed to have some kind of deal here. I'm going to take Ludovico technique just because we have tech two. We don't necessarily need mom's knife to do the, uh, to do the melee stuff. Now, if you're wondering why mom's knife look, it looks like it's glitching out like that. It's actually not. That's bookworm. Uh, kicking in so as much as i would love to say <laughs> look at the game being stupid uh it's actually that just happens with ludovico get a devil deal somehow even though our odds were greatly in our favor of uh getting an angel deal take incubus take abadabba ding dong and uh yeah now we have two tech twos we're not gonna have a second uh mom's knife from incubus but this is good enough for this is good enough to have some fun first the unknown again both of the secret rooms are basically right next door to each other but yeah the reason why i don't mind taking ludovico here is because we don't necessarily have to worry about positioning ourselves um Oh, the curse of the unknown, by the way. We don't have to necessarily worry about positioning ourselves to cause damage with uh, Mom's knife anymore. Instead, what we can do is we can use Tech Two and sort of like we can sort of turn Tech Two back into our primary source of damage, while also using Ludovico to add on a little bit of extra damage. Uh, where do we want to go? We we'll go to Secret Room first. We we'll go to Secret Room first. Not okay. So we need to find the uh, pool card here for boss rush. How was Isaac looking that way? We're going to run through all the levels here just to, or the floors, or all the rooms. There it is. We did, I, we did see it. That's one thing you got to be careful of with Mercurius, though, is accidentally walking out of the doors. If you're expecting to walk into a wall, you, you just 
you just straight up just like, oh no, we're just gonna be out of here. So I'm gonna use the uh, nail to get the fool card. We haven't seen the item room yet, but that's okay. We're let's go. Let's go get mom out of the way first. See what we have in our boss rush. Then we can fool card out, and then we can resume. So obviously the damage upgrade is much less much less uh, significant for tech two than it is for tech for uh, mom's knife and Ludo. You know what? There is a little. There is actually a second knife there for Incubus. For some reason it's facing the wrong direction, but you know what? That's okay. Hey, look at that. It's, it's right there. So we actually have triple knives now, which is kind of cool. Definitely going to take the knife because we need more damage. Ooh. Okay. All right. Forget me now. It gives us another chance for, uh, of course we can't get that. Of course we can't get that game. It's very funny. And the, you know what's even funnier is that, is that we can't we can't even if we hurry if we hurry and get a bomb or a full charge we can get the wafer because we can I think we can gain access back into uh, today we're gonna have to skip the item room though which is fine the wafer is more important than the item room. <clears throat> Then we can use forget me now and then run to the boss again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we can see our HP now. It's good. We got to find We got to find the fool card again. Yeah, see, this is this is what I'm kind of talking about. The damage upgrade that we get from Abaddon is not nearly as significant as it is for Mom's knife. Um, the fool card. Now, unfortunately, we did lose the nail. We get toxic shock. Okay. We did go to the boss room there, and Toxic Shock's going to help us. Good. We're going to get a second boss rush. Worked out surprisingly well, though I'm not happy about taking damage. This is Red Mom, so Red Mom kind of sucks for Mom's Knife Ludovico, but when we land the knives on there. there we go. Now we can also take the Polaroids. We have both of the Polaroid and the negative and get another boss rush. Quince. I don't know why Cursed Eye keeps showing up. Uh, yeah, not, none of you are really worth taking damage for. Uh, so, good on you, game. Good on you for giving us such a such a quality boss rush after we earned our second one. Good stuff. It's really, really cool. It's really neat. You don't... We, I mean... I have a Lyle is great, obviously, but it's not something that we can take advantage of. Not for the for the very low amount of HP we've got. It's very weird seeing the knives kind of piled up on each other. If we had more HP, I would definitely well. If we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If we get a full round of taps on the sack room, we could, thanks to the wafer, potentially still play the sacrifice room. I think I think the left hand dream is done. Well, no, I guess we can hold on to it. Oh man, I don't know about this one. This is okay. So that this one soul heart definitely changes things because remember we have the wafer. Really needed some soul hearts there. Yeah, that's fine. One soul heart's fine. Okay, 
And we get 30 cents. The wafer, of course, halves all of the damage that we take. So that that is what facilitated us in getting the uh, full payout from the sacrifice room. Not that it was really worth it, unfortunately, but we at least got it. Yeah, might as well. Okay, we get shade. I don't really care about shade. I think anyone cares about shade. Uh, one bomb here would definitely do it for us to get a good chance of getting some soul hearts. And we get a sun card, which we can use on the next floor, but unfortunately, we don't have any bombs. Hey, there's a bomb there. We got one one soul heart. That's that's actually huge. Remember, that's worth two hits. Um, let's see what else we what else can we do here? A lot of nothing, unfortunately. If we really, really, really wanted to, we could go into the boss trap room, but I think that's a little bit unnecessary. There we go. That's all. That's all I wanted was I wanted to gain access to our secret rooms. Yep. Can't wait to see what's inside of this great secret room here. Yep. All right. There we go. So a very not productive floor that forget me now. But at the end of the day, was it worth it? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. There we go. Obviously, we're still going to be doing okay here because, like, you know, we've got we got Mom's Knife. we got Ludo. We can deal that remote damage. we got a Tears upgrade here, which is actually not that big of a deal for Ludovico Mom's Knife because, obviously, like, it doesn't pulse like a regular tear does. But this is where, this is where the power of Mercurius really starts to kind of shape your run. Being able to just say, I don't want to be in this room. I'm not going to be in this room. And bypass a lot of the challenges that, uh, you know, that the end game, end game rooms give you. So we can just park Ludovico over our target and then just walk around and get purgatory. It's actually kind of great. The pact here, which I definitely want to take. How did that not hit this? The Leviathan for sure. And we now have a good opportunity to go for strategical old hushy. Old hushy. Trying to get some HP here if we can, but instead we just get nothing that I care about. Uh, I mean, I guess iron bar for the concussion. That, what are you, Emperor card, nice. Definitely we'll take the Emperor card here. Let's try to, will we get over $7 again? Yo, let's go. Oh man, we're over seven bucks again in the donation machine. That's so good. How long did that, oh my God. How long did that take us to get there? I feel like we did a phenomenal job at filling up our donation machine. It feels like only like maybe like a month and a half. I want to get in there and get purgatory. There we go. <coughs> so we can just park, we can just park mom's knife on top of hush and just run around and grab purgatory. There's a kind of like a, it's almost like a, like a bullet hell dance, dance something game. Cause remember when purgatory hits, it cancels out projectiles. Like we talked about. And yes, that does include an effect hush.
Good for my good for my dodging dodging practice here. I have no idea where Purgatory is. There it is. Nice block by Cuban Meat. They got off another wave. I didn't realize that. Another great block by Cuban Meat there. They want to have to fire, but I'm gonna have to get these get these uh, hush hush zombies out of there. Need, where's Purgatory? We need Purgatory. So I have no idea where Ludo, Ludo went. Ludo Lou. There we go. Where the heck is Ludo? There it is. Where'd he go all the way over there? No problem at all. And we end up getting Cricket's head and uh, the concussion, concussion, as again, concussive bar. I'd say it was definitely worth it. Um, it's not really all that surprising, I guess, to see how little bombs we have and utility items like consumables here. But at the same time, it's because we have the left hand. It's probably time to drop the left hand, but we'll just, I'm going to hold on to it anyway. You can't tell me what to do. Wait, the boss of me. Curious is allowing us to just skirt our way through everything here. I did way less damage than I thought it would. And what we need to do is we just need to we just need to let Purgatory just pop off cancel all of Stanley's projectiles as much as possible. Obviously, there's no way to predict where Purgatory is going to go. I also hate how, like, how much separation there is between inc the Incubus knife and my knife, but we end up, end up dunking Stanley anyway. I was in the dark room. Um, oh man, backstabber Ludo. Ooh, now you're speaking my language. Do we, man, I mean, we, we have to take backstabber. Now Jesus shadow, I think will not take, it, it won't kick in until after inner child, I think. Yeah, so we are now we now have the inner child. Uh, we could take up his collar, but there's no real reason to do that. Yeah, this damage is going to be sick, nasty, crazy. If it, if Ludo can proc on Lamb with the backstabber, Which right now it's not. Ludo, hello. There we go. Oh, it's because I'm looking at the wrong knife. Well, that was just rude. But is it the incubus knife that's causing the backstabber? I think it's hard for me to tell. Yeah, that's the damage that sh that. That's the damage that was supposed to happen, so. That was weird, but I'll take it. So thank you for watching, everyone. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with it. That, it seemed like that first fight was just kind of like... Like the backstabber was coming from one of the different knives. Maybe it was because we teleported with the Emperor card. I don't know. Who knows? 
Either way, we'll take the dub here. Very fun run. Definitely go play that seed. Your question of the episode is going to be, what did you think of Ludovico? Do you think it's actually worth it with some tier effects? Do you think it's just still straight trash? Post them in the comments down below. Let's see if Bikini Body will reply to this one. Probably won't, but he might. And uh, remember, the top three most upvoted comments get read on next week's episode. Make sure you click that like button, subscribe button, all that kind of good stuff, everyone. If you want to support my content here on YouTube, have a great Tuesday. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the pages of mine like Ulysses, Missy, and Railgun. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.